Hey, there it is. Temple of Nod before their airship. Welcome to a Command & Conquer remastered cast between in the blue, it's Incia 3000 as Nod. This is in the yellow, it is Shepard SG-1 playing as a GDI. And I'm sorry, Incia. I had to do it to you. I did. Couldn't help myself. Anyways, Incia, because they didn't move their construction yard, will have better eco. They will have faster eco compared to what Shepard has, who is going for an aggressive start, definitely. Already going double barracks with a bunch of grenadiers. However, Incia's flamethrower, one of them sneaks through, four of them, five of them. Two of them are still alive, one is alive and make that zero alive. But at least they did have scouting, like did get scouting. Over here, it is double ref for Incia, who is, has also managed to clean up those two infantry units from Shepard. And over here, it is now triple barracks, a double ref. So, ref count is actually same, surprisingly enough. For now, at least. However, there is a third, also with now double hand of nod. And Shepard moving some grenadiers up north. Not really sure where those are going or if they're just going to go around to be sneaky. Could very well be the case. Meanwhile, Incia is just harvesting, well, damaging the harvester. Not a whole lot though. And airstrip is now up. Right, makes complete sense. It's after three refs. The standard. And I don't know what these grenadiers were planning on doing. I mean, running around in the in the tubidium is probably not the most sensible thing to do. And a hey, starting out with a couple of artilleries. All right, we like that. A unit that's not often used, but here we have it. Four of them already. May have been a misclick. I don't know. This is just triple barrack GDI for now. Against infantry, artillery can work wonders. But there is that of half the war factory. I have not played this game for a far too long time, nor cast it. It's been such a long time I forget such basic things. Right. Flamethrowers keep pushing forwards. Alright, communication center out now for Incia. Does not see anything sick. Special, nothing significant. And ooh, sitting over here and ha damaging that harvester is quite nice. Selling up that construction yard already. I mean, already, sure. But that's a lot of infantry moving into a line of artillery. Wow. I mean, if you have this many of them, apparently they are pretty good. Who would have thought? This raid, it's just going to be an easy cleanup for Incia. I mean, artillery is good against buildings, it's good against uh, infantry if they have a lucky shot. However, there it is. Medium tank, what do you do now? Because that thing cleans up artillery like it's nothing. However, yeah, Incia has 5,000 in the bank, 3,000 ahead in eco, almost 500 energy in the bank, like left over. Whereas, Shepard is now actually on a minus 80 power and cannot build more. Bikes coming out to defend against medium tanks and even some rocket soldiers I see. Oh wow. Not something you usually see. Oh well. Still on. Yeah, four Fs. Alright. Advanced power plant. Are we going for SSM? Or maybe even Temple of Nod? Hmm? Maybe? I would love it. And wow, rocket soldiers in numbers. Actually killing some grenadiers. Who would have thought? Now, Pikes trying their best and actually cleaning up those medium things pretty alright. Definitely. 
Moving through, if you are able to snipe that wolf actually, it is GG, maybe. I mean, they would be on full on single barracks grand production then, which is not great. Uh, your scouting on that is good. And they actually sold off that refinery already. Might have been a little bit quick because I don't think it was that damage, right? Maybe it was, maybe I just didn't see it. Oh well. Still single airstrip for Intia, still three and a half thousand in the bank. And slowly but surely, Barracks is actually getting cleaned up without Shepard realizing or dealing it, dealing with it. Uh, but no, they do clean up that single bike, alright. But now, taking losses while retreating. Second tank also gone. And bike numbers for Insta are just amazing. What? Your eyes? Because I feel like the game has sped up even more. Yeah, seemed like it. Probably has something to do with the fact that they're already on faster speed, I feel. But that's fine. Also, this doesn't seem to be the match I thought it was. So, Incia is actually probably going to win this because I don't see a way for Shepard to come back from this. Sure, they do have War Factory and Barrack, so technically have a lot of options. Uh, they just don't have Eco. And of course, the Eco they do have should slowly be picked apart by Incia. These bikes could also just move into the uh, into the wall factory and just clean it up because that would not be an issue. Second obelisk is also out and chain link fences. Not sure why you're using them, but you are. Eco actually under a little bit of danger, but not too much. We'll survive without too many issues. Still amazing bike numbers, but that of course does not deal with infantry, nor does the obelisk. So it will pretty much all have to come down to the artillery, or just SSM, or just bike numbers. Because yeah, in large enough quantities, even bikes can just counter infantry. Because everything counters everything if you have enough of them. It's just that simple. Overwhelm them with numbers and counters don't matter. But still, SSMs, three of them are already out. And that should just clean everything up. There goes another little refinery. And they're now on like four harvesters on a single ref. That's not great. SSMs out in, in the open, also not great, but who cares, I mean, they can actually just have that happen, because look at the bike numbers, there goes the wolf factory, and there goes the rest of your base. Ref is cleaned up, and that's GG, but GG in Sia. Game 2 on tour of EJ between Shepard SG1 in the yellow versus in the green, it is in Sia. This time around, both of them playing as a nod, and apparently my... I have pressed wrong keys in between matches. Uh, one smart. Yeah, this is better. Right. So, once again, Shepard moving slightly. Should actually not get efficient eco because of it. Normally people move to get efficient eco. No. Shepard moved so that he could reduce his efficiency. Not ideal, you would say. I would say. Uh, but I guess fine. Maybe it is just a better way to get to the middle. Not really sure. I mean, two refs versus just a single. So that's three already, so maybe you're going for an extremely early airstrip. I mean, that would be very... Aggressive, going for an airstrip already. But well, looks like it. Yes, there it is. All right. Business triple ref and then likely airstrip. Of course, airstrip has Building. the annoying thing that the enemy can actually see it because the plane. Actually, you might just barely not. No, you do see it. Never mind. 
so you know that it is right around there. Two double ref versus a triple with fourth one coming in soon. Actually not going airstrip yet. So buggy numbers is already there for Shepard. Already on five buggies moving forward. That makes six. So by the time Incia actually also gets their own airstrip up. There is a mass of buggies on their doorstep. One power plant already gone. Many gunners in range should do deal quite decent damage. But still, buggies just running through. Airstrip is probably just about to be built somewhere. There it is. Right. Minus 30 power, but healing this up and it will be all good. However, another five buggies coming in. The one down south still alive should in sit in front of the entrance for the refinery, but oh well. Should be able to keep up the airstrip without issues, but power plant going down, so very slowed down production. More buggies coming in from Shepard. And it seems like the aggressive start is actually kind of starting to pay off. Apache now as well. But in here should be able to keep that construction yard up. Uh, yes. Yeah, 50% HP, that should stay up. And by now, like six. Oh. Oh, that should not have happened. Bad play by Shepard there. Losing 1200 for free. Like, was no reason to lose that. And in here with like 50% more harvested, 5000 more. Still with the way better eco, spread out onto two big, big fields as well. And even buggy numbers looking quite good. However, bikes now coming in for Shepard. And that's a gone construction yard. No way to keep that thing alive. You're not even trying to. And I assume that actually the airstrip will also go down. No, okay. They did not focus on it. And now in CR response. Really late? I don't know what they were doing in the meantime. But uh, there goes another power plant. Low power again. And yeah. What was Intia doing when Shepard went in with those bikes? I don't know. Buggy numbers amazing for Intia. But they have to watch out with that airstrip. Five bikes coming in, destroying the turret. Decent buggy numbers at home as well for the NCR right now. So should actually be fine. And over here should be able to move forward, you would assume. But having to clean up those bikes first. Now there are like buggy support for Shepard as well. Not sure what Shepard is trying to do with artillery though. That's a little surprising because artillery is not exactly amazing against buggies from what I've seen. Shouldn't be, but also like from what I've seen it's actually not. Um, so that does seem weird. Maybe you misclick. They wanted bikes or buggies and accidentally clicked. Artillery? Not really sure. Down here. Incia's refinery is gone. Do keep up that harvester, but it cannot go back into the base. And it will go all the way around. No, it won't. It will be even more annoying by like not making up its mind. Buggy numbers over here will be... Oh, I thought they were going to clean up that helipad, but don't. Okay. Weird. Fine, I guess. And yeah, well, good, good mini gunner numbers. Oh, oh watch your eyes. Once again, because we've gone back a little bit. There are good mini gunner numbers over here for Incia. And against those, the artillery might actually be pretty good. Of course, Incia will have to take them around. Don't go through the Tibidium, which they're not doing, alright. And, well, Incia's economy is still better, 10k ahead even, but slow down production. 
and the economy is actually going down. What is, well, Shepard is actually holding their base decently, like better than you would expect. So another power plant going down. Shepard does waste one and two rupees, all right. So it is all about like how much these buggies and bikes are able to accomplish. If they are able to kill production, I'd say, they probably did enough. If they can kill the airstrip and or handle not, it would have been enough, but just the economy, I, uh, I don't know if that's enough, I don't think so. So, Incia did manage to clean up the forces from Shepard in their own base. And they do now have pretty good bike numbers. Shepard going through the Tiberium, so we'll lose quite a bit of HP on that infantry. As in, like, they're almost dead. So not nearly as bad as it may look. And these buggies are not doing anything either. Both of them now on single ref with, like, three or more harvesters. And in the bank, 5, 5700, so Incia should also be able to just keep repairing when uh, Shepard does engage. And these minigun numbers, that's a lot of damage. No flamethrowers from Shepard, so we'll be able to do all of the damage. It should be enough to just move in, unless the artillery gets a very nosh uh, shot off. Did get some pretty decent shots, but not amazing, I feel. The other one didn't get a single shot off. And now the minigunners numbers are actually pretty down for Incia. What are the bikes able to do? They should be able to clean up pretty much the rest of the base. Power plant already gone. Buggy gone. Artillery gone. And the bikes still all healthy. No issues there. Of course they do leave a couple of stray minigunners, but that's about it. If this continues, then look at that. No actual army for Shepard, and Shepard has to give in. They lose to Incia, whose base doesn't look very pretty either. Battle control terminated. Game 3 on Tour of Egypt between Incia in the green on the right hand side as not versus Shepard in the yellow as not as well on the left hand side where both of them are just driving upwards for a very strange start. It's not an economy focused start. It would have to be a an aggressive start because this isn't exactly the best place for eco. You would assume this is a way better eco place. Anyways, Shepard with a slightly faster start just because they didn't drive in the turbidium as long, I feel. But Incia now with Hen of Nod as well. Who realizes first? Seems like Shepard is the one. And we'll already... Okay, nice shot there for Incia. So they have good KD, 3 to 0. And harvest that out as well. Right. Has stabilized, so Hen of Nod not under any direct threat. And Hamburger Man. Briefcase Man, or like... Lunchbox man, however you want to say. Engineer captures a refinery. That is very bad for Incia. Of course, still 10 to 3 KD, so that's not bad. But where is your infantry now? Is it in range? It did actually, like, manage to kill the engineer, sure. But where is your production? Where is your eco? It is nowhere to be found. Officer will be cleaned up. Does take two more flamethrowers with it. And you do have a second harvester in the back, sure, but so does Shepard, and they have two of them. Is your construction yet under any threat? No, it's not. However, turret, not actually in range. Oh, actually in range of... and not, alright. Not really sure why Incia already sold it off. Delaying the sell-off might have been just a slightly better. So of course it also doesn't really matter. Apache coming up for Shepard and actually selling off that construction yard. 
interesting. Of course, Apache is very difficult to deal with if you don't have bikes. And, well, Insia does not have bikes. And I don't expect them to get up any bikes either. Power going down rapidly. Minus 40 power. Power plant is gone. Engineer moving forward. Is that construction yard sold off? Yes, it is. All right. So, indeed, never going to have bikes. You will not counter the Apache. Definitely not with just two little rocket soldiers. And with three or four, it's also not going to happen. And if you do buy enough rocket soldiers to counter the Apache, the enemy infantry will just move in and kill you. They are on double harvester UR2. Yours is slightly more efficient. I get that. But still, I mean, they are like 1200 ahead in total. And they're actually able to just produce f way faster. You have 3700 in the bank, but I don't expect you to spend that at all. Because you're on minus 80 power with just one hand of nod. A big ol' infantry force now, four shepherd moving forward, and that should be able to clean up your base. I'm sorry, Encia, but you are definitely going to lose this. Unless shepherd just kills their own base, but I don't expect that to happen. Even with such lucky flamethrower shots, I don't see it happening. Refinery is almost gone as well, putting you at an even bigger power deficit. Because yes, of course, refineries give you 10 power. Game doesn't tell you that, I'm pretty sure, but it, they do. And minus 90 power, maybe. Yes, there it is. But now minus 50. Hey, that's better. Still has two officers. So maybe that is better. No, it's not, but maybe. And, well, more infantry, more minigunners for Shepard moving in. Is Incia ever going to have the forces required to destroy Shepard's base? I don't think so. Like, they're building so slowly that there is no shot they're going to win this. Not even with such sneaky rocket soldiers. And it's time to say a GG because I don't see this lasting more than 10 seconds more. And eight seconds. Time for the fourth and last game on tour of Egypt between Shepard SG1 in the blue, in this case, as Nod versus here in the yellow, it is Incia 3000 as Nod and on the right hand side once again. So, it is now two to one. Shepard once again going for a different starting location. Incia just realized. That's not for me, the life, to move my construction yard a whole lot. They just went for the same position they went the first two games, which worked out for them really, really well. And since I don't know if I already said it, I'm going to ask you to subscribe to the channel, because hey, I must. It is a must. I must do it. So, let's go with the game. Right. Pause firing just to see. Yes, the gun does work. My Apache is functional. I didn't get scammed by the Brotherhood, but it's fine. Are you actually going to use your Apache as well, Shepard? Not really sure. One ref versus three already. There is the second one for Shepard. And they're not actually taking advantage of that Apache. Do they have scouting? No, so they couldn't have anyways. So, now they have scouting, they have intel, and they will hunt you down. Flamethrower is already gone. Of course, it's just a single flamethrower where two minigunners were wasted, so it's actually just like 100% attrition. You didn't like gain anything, you didn't lose anything. But you need to invest 1500 extra in that Apache. Communication center is already out for Incia. Uh, are you going for flame tanks soon-ish? Not really sure. And advanced power plant? 
What crazy high level stretch are you going for, Incia? Because I do not comprehend. I do not. Anyways, uh, also uh, in the game, in the first game, I was like, well, could we see Nuke, as in like Temple of Not? Uh, no, because super weapons were turned off the first two games. Not what, sure why, but they were. Anyways, I'd say this is a very bad play. It's an expensive piece of equipment that doesn't really give you anything. Pretty much just like the communication center right now. Because you're still just minigunner producing. Producing just minigunners. I don't get it. Maybe you wanted a challenge and you thought that, well, beating up Shepard is just so easy. I don't need anything special. Well, I'm going for something special. As in, maybe you're going for Commando. Guess that I think Commando unlocks with Advanced Power Plant. Or it's Obelisk, one of the two. Not really sure. By now, it's actually Shepard with more refineries. And Incia is just being picked apart, I'm pretty sure. Incia, what's happening over here? I don't know. I mean, I assume an airstrip is coming up soon. I don't know what else they would be producing right now. And are we going to see it? Or are we not? Come on, Incia. Where is it? I mean, you have cash in the bank. 2,500 still. You are... What did you sell off? Was that the communication center? I think it might have been. We haven't really paid attention to Shepard's base at all. And hey, there it is. All right, I'm not... I didn't know that was possible, like, without building an airstrip first, but like, all right. And like Temple of Nod before the airstrip, like only pros can pull that off. I thought you needed an obelisk before you could build Temple of Nod, but maybe I just missed it being constructed and then sold off. Just like I missed the building here, which might have been advanced power plant, since you now have communication center as well. Or repair pad, maybe. But I don't see an APC, so I don't assume so. And there is the obelisk. I don't know, if you build an obelisk now, I don't think you had one before. Honestly, that's... Where are the stealth things? There. Uh, right, the stealth things. It's kind of weird that you can build a temple of Nod without building an obelisk, in my eyes. It seems off, but it's fine, I guess. Anyways, briefcases are running towards the engineer, the lunchbox man. Second advanced power plant is up. Also, I like that you tried, but I don't expect a nuke to actually do anything significant. I'm sorry. It just seems so underwhelming, the nuke in this game. Ion Beam as well for that matter, but still. Four stealth things are already up for Shepard. Alright. And meanwhile, we're just waiting. Not sure how, but like, Incia supposedly still has better eco. I highly doubt that, but I guess these fields are way less efficient. Also, like... No, don't kill it before it nukes you. That would be very unfriendly. That wouldn't be very nice of you. No, please let yourself get nuked. There is your airstrip, Incia. Also, yeah, it took such a long time. It couldn't have been airstrip, but like... My brain could not comprehend that they were already building Temple of Nod. I get that they just did it for the lols and like not to win. But I just wouldn't have imagined it anyways, alright? So, 
uh, should also mean they have like pretty much everything unlocked and could go for SSM already. Yes, because they did have advanced power plant and all that. Flame tank as well, of course. So we could actually see some like high tech units and things. And nukes? Come on, nuke! Like, ship can't do that because they sold off their construction yard. And um, yeah. Oh well. Communication center is gone. Advanced power plant is as well. And shoot your eyes. So, advanced guard power plant is gone. Communication center is as well. And there is commando. All right, a fun unit for sure. Uh, but it does not hold a torch to a flame tank. It doesn't. And 1v1, a flame tank loses against the flame tank that has artillery support. Of course, Insia is able to stabilize at least somewhat. They do still have construction yard. Which is very nice for them. I mean, that way they are able to build power plants back up and all that. But even so, I don't think... They can really do a whole lot. There is power plant, all right. I mean, I assume they're just trying to hold on until they can fire the nuke. The issue is just that what is the nuke going to do? Like sure, commando is fun, but like you're facing Apache, so it wasn't going to work anyways. Unless you had like SAM supports and that's only possible in your own base pretty much. So yes, it was a fun idea. It just was not going to work ever obelisk is trying to fight off those bikes doing a pretty decent job flame thrower flame tank support as well all right 400 energy you're not telling me you're going for another temple right right i mean at this stage it wouldn't surprise me but I also, like, wouldn't really get it, I guess. Like, 500 energy. What do you need that for? How long is the cooldown for the Temple of Nod? I think it's, like, five minutes? Three and a half or five minutes, something like that. We must be getting close to that now. I think so. So, like, what would the target be? Let's let's think about that for a second. What does Intia know? Not a whole lot about the enemy base. That's not a good start. Um. Oh, there it goes. Nuclear launch. Just the moment. I don't actually have like building in range or in view. So I missed half of the nuke. Right. Great. Anyways, um, they nuked part of the base. Sure. I guess things died. That was about it. Yeah. <laughs> what does the nuke do? Not a whole lot. Like, even this infantry unit, like, it survived. Apache survived. And now that we have had our fun with the nuke, Shepard will just move in and kill. Right? Uh, no, apparently not. Uh, right. I mean, Incia has cleaned out this entire eco field. They have to expand down south now. They are starting to do that slowly. And you know what? After they have expanded their eco, I could see a world in which Incia wins. I could, yes. Just because. Over here, there is little eco, and there isn't actually that much in terms of, like, units. Sure, they have, a, like, spa six uh, light tanks and, like, two artillery pieces. No, seven uh, light tanks and two artillery pieces. And they've got one very heavily damaged Apache if it had not just died. But it has, and there is eco for Incia that will be efficient for a long time. 
They are 4,000 to 3,000 behind in eco right now. But it also doesn't really matter a whole lot. Sure, the stealth tank might be fun. Could hold up a little bit of eco for Incia. And if the airstrip and or construction yard goes down, that will still hurt a lot. Especially that construction yard. But of course, having the production be taken offline is also a massive blow. Because now they can't spend that extra eco. There is a turret to defend against lightnings. Though it's currently shooting at minigunners. Not great. And on the other side, Shepard has to get lucky with the artillery. Maybe? Uh, maybe not. Like, why does my mouse sometimes do that? I don't know. Anyways, airstrip does stay up, so it's not a very big deal. Over here, Incia needs to create a new one, and indeed, as I said, Stealth Tank being annoying, sitting in the entrance, holding up the efficient eco from Incia. If they do not realize this, or like fix it soon, the investment over here will be for nothing. Meanwhile, Incia has like one sneaky flame tank, but that's also not going to do a whole lot, I'm afraid. There it goes already. And now, well, Shepard once again moving in. Sure. That is just infantry here for, uh, for Incia. Drive over that with your light tanks and just shoot at the building with rocket soldiers. Supposedly, that's what they're good against. And you know what? They did clean it up over here. It's still all clogged up. You shoot at it once. You know it will be back very, very soon. It can actually already go back in. Well, I wanted to say indeed, uh, but it will soon go back. And now shooting at airstrip because new airstrip, that could once again be a problem for Shepard. But with these units, they can clean it up and then, oh, it's gone. It's not a problem anymore. So Stealth Tank driving over the last little bit of infantry. Stealth Tank now cleaned up. Nice shot by the turret, but it's not exactly enough because the airstrip is still gone. Will still take a while before we get another nuke, I'm afraid. And Shepard has bought another Apache. Though, it's getting shot at by the Sam again, so... Not really sure how long that's going to stay up. Chemical Warrior, Incia. Chemical Thrower, Flamethrower thingy. Toxic Flamethrower, I don't know what they're actually called. I think they're just chemical for, uh, warriors. Have we ever seen them fire in a cast? Maybe? I don't think so. They also don't seem to be all that much stronger than just a normal, normal flamethrower. But maybe they are. Also, we should your eyes. And nuclear warhead once again. Onto the same place again. I mean, you once again cleaned up the Apache. I guess good on you. Uh, but the airplane is the the air pad is still alive. The airstrip is still alive. There goes the Temple of Nod with a very good sell-off animation, I will say. But what do you have? Yeah, you have 500 energy, but you can't just throw energy at them. I know it hurts, but you can't. So, yes, Toxic Warrior, Chemical Warrior moving in against a big ball of minigunners. Honestly, it doesn't seem that special. Don't know what that thing is supposed to be extra special against. Like, it's a relatively high tech level, I believe. But it doesn't seem all that strong. Oh well. Flamethrower tank, flame tanks now moving in as well. Should be able to just clean up the buildings. Like, it's able to take a couple of shots from its turret. So it's not a very big deal. Just going after that construction yard with three of them. 
It's over, Incia. It kind of hurts for you. But honestly, you were the one who nuked. So, who is the real MVP in this match? Just one hand of not left soon. There goes the second one. All right. And with like very little eco and facing plane tanks with just pure infantry, I don't see it happening. Sure, like Shepard doesn't have good eco either, but like they still have three harvesters on two, uh, resource dumps. No, it's not. Wow. Uh, pow, pow, pow. Harvester goes into refinery. That's it. Brain is not here anymore. All right. I guess Shepard is still losing a couple of units, but like, <sighs> you don't deal with flame tanks with mini gunners. You just don't. So as soon as one of them is approaching, you have to run into your turret to hope that that's enough. But then it just goes down and goes around and goes back home to its family and I don't know. Maybe it's going to try and sit on the rivers to block harvesters, maybe, maybe not. It doesn't really matter what they do. I think it's just a matter of time until Shepard builds up a force. Even just a sneak attack force. Uh, and just kills the turret, kills the hand of Nod and just wins. Because as soon as the Hand of Nod is gone, Incia will probably just sell everything off. They already know it's over. I'm sure of it. Uh, but also, like, they don't want to give up until the Hand of Nod is gone, probably. To me, that's the only logical reason why they would still be fighting. Because, of course, as long as you can produce and you do still have eco, technically, there is a chance. Like, look at the commando go. There is a chance, and the chance is not with the commando, because the commando is gone. Chemical Warrior is gone. Hopes and dreams for Incia are not gone yet, because they still have that hand of not. Right. Um, yeah. Yeah, but... Finish him off already. I mean, I get it. You have no cash. <sighs> but just take all of these units, like shift A, and click it. Either like a turret, like sit here and kill the turret. Then move in and kill the other turret. Then the hand of not, maybe something like that. I'm pretty sure that would just work. The issue is, those chemical warriors, they should be good against that infantry from you. So they... Well, make a pretty decent combination with those turrets. Chemical Warriors killing a good chunk of those minigunners, but Hand of Nod is still gone. And Incia, are you going to give up? Or are you going to wait until the Chemical Warriors have been destroyed? As in, like, the last of your army has been destroyed. I hope they're just chatting right now and that that is the reason why they are not giving up because honestly like it's super duper over and okay there it is good so well done that you made it this far into the video consider watching the video in your lower left but that's all i'm going to have for you today and i'll see you in another video bye Incia still the winner of our hearts with a temple of north before their airship first time i've ever seen that <laughs>